Now in these organic gardens, the selection of seeds is quite an important uh, subject. Since uh, normally the orga organic gardeners are into conservation and uh, such things, it's a good idea to try to get some heirloom seeds and uh, give these uh, vanishing uh, vegetable varieties a nice home in your garden and also you can eat them now. later, seeds can be multiplied. And so in my uh, quest to collect some nice seeds, this is one of my proud possession. It's called Star of David. This, uh, these fruits are quite fat and juicy and if you pluck them tender, their ribs are uh, very succulent. It's, uh, it's nice to cook and have as a fresh uh, vegetable and uh, much appreciated in our house. And also it's quite hardy and uh, being an ancient uh, heritage variety, it's uh, resistant to many of the diseases and uh, quite easy to cultivate. I found that uh, they need plenty of feed and uh, in between watering it's a good idea to let the soil dry once. But uh, without enormous amount of compost and vermicompost feeding, the fruits will be small. They'll get smaller like, as they go along. So, put, use plenty of old vermicompost to feed and then uh, space it nicely, at least one, uh, one and a half feet gap. And after every harvest, after every fruit, some fresh feeding is needed, otherwise it will stop grow, uh, growing further. And uh, they pollinate very fast. So if you want to preserve the variety, don't grow any other type of this lady finger in the nearby. Because the bees will take the pollen from this variety and take it there and then it gets genetically mixed up. So if you want to take up any heirloom seeds, try to stick to one variety and specialize in that. And uh, once you are done with the crop, you can take up the next one.